Okay, so first you want to remove the controller from the casing. And then you want to take out this second board here. Just pull these tabs out and it'll pop right out. Then you want to identify where there is a hole and a socket, which is going to line up with these pins right here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to take these pieces, put that through the hole, pop that gray piece on there, and then line up the hole in the comms module with that piece. Make sure that the socket, the pins plug into the socket, make sure that they're all in there and snug. And then break off this piece right here. And then you just pop it in there and make sure it's pressed firmly, which will then secure it into place. Then you put the board back in. And replace the controller back into the sleeve. So in order to install a, uh, a 232 uh, communications module or any communications module in a uh, 2000 series controller, the first step you need to do is take the controller out of the sleeve, which you can do by pulling these two tabs and it'll slide right out. Um, once you have the controller out, uh, you will need to, in order to access where the communications module is installed, you need to take off one of these panels. Um, e either one will work. Basically, they work with you just the two plastic things on the side, pull it out, and it pops out. The side with the big capacitor and the onboard relay, this is the side that the communications module will be installed into. What you want to look for is this circle here, um, and this is the socket that it'll be uh, clipped into. And basically you have uh, this little piece. One side is smaller than the other. The, the larger side is going to go into this hole in the, in the side, and basically you just want to push it in until it, it pops. Um, and then you take the communications module and you want to line up the pins with the socket and the hole with the hole in the communications module and just push it down until it clips on that side as well. And then you just need to replace that right there reinsert the controller into the sleeve. Sometimes it needs to be wiggled around in order for it to fit snugly, but that's it.